Remember 8th grade dissection class? <sniffs> Poor Franklin the Frog never knew what was coming. But his little organs were nothing on what some colossal animals on Earth are packing. So get your gloves on, lab partner, because we've got some absolutely huge eyes, tongues, and, um, I'm not sure what that is, to examine. Come on, let's look at the largest organs of any animal ever. <laughs> Belly Balloon I love snacks. Nowadays, though, I'm getting a little podgy around the middle. Even so, I take comfort in knowing my stomach will never be as big as the blue whales. These chunky boys have the biggest stomachs of any animal ever. Seriously, they chow down almost 9,000 pounds of food a day. That's like eating 18,000 Big Macs, which is pretty insane. But it makes sense when you realize blue whales are the biggest creatures to ever exist. Growing to 100 feet long, we're talking about an animal the length of a 10-story building. As such, their stomachs are understandably massive too, with not one, not two, but three chambers to digest everything with. And they need them because blue whales eat millions of tiny crustaceans called krill every day. Rather than hunting more difficult, less abundant creatures, they can easily consume all the calories they need this way. However, that's the opposite philosophy the ominously named Black Swallower takes. Despite only being eight inches long, this creepy fish lives up to its name by guzzling prey four times its length and ten times its mass, entirely whole. <laughs> to manage these mighty meals, its stomach can swell out like a grotesque balloon. So whilst it's not literally as big as a whale's stomach, it gets major points for being disgustingly huge in comparison with the fish itself. In fact, that big belly can be a curse. You see, this fish hangs around the ocean at depths of 3,000 to 10,000 feet, but the gases produced by all the food it eats can make its belly so buoyant it uncontrollably floats to the surface and perishes. Wow, death by dinner? What a way to go. Sticky Licky Did you know we humans have as many as 4,000 taste buds on our tongue? Without them, all food would taste like a dry bowl of Wheaties. But some of the biggest tongues in the animal kingdom are used for much more than just tasting. Like the chameleon, these licky lizard's tongues can reach twice the length of their body and shoot out like an extendable arm to plug prey clean out of the air. They do this easily because the end is covered in a mucus that's over 400 times stickier than human saliva, and they can propel it from their mouths as fast as 60 miles per hour in one one hundredth of a second. Jeez, beat that, Lewis Hamilton. But the out-and-out -out biggest tongue ever belongs to the blue whale. At a whopping three tons, this terrific taster weighs the same as a rhinoceros, and it has a special ability too. Blue whales can turn their colossal tongues inside out and swallow them. It's not a party trick, but actually a way of increasing the total volume of their mouths so they can fit more food in. This can lead to some gruesome scenes when they die, though. As dead whales begin to decompose, the gas that forms in their stomach can inflate their tongue, causing it to bulge out of their mouth like some kind of gross alien. Yuck. Talk about having fishy breath. Smarty Pants Sometimes I like to sit and ponder life's big questions, like what's it like to have eyebrows? And what's the smartest animal? Sadly, I only know the answer to the last one, and it's you. Not you, you, but you as in humans. Human brains can weigh close to three pounds. Whilst that might not sound like a lot, when compared to our closest biological relatives, chimpanzees, human brains get seriously impressive. Despite our bodies only weighing a third or so more, our brains are three and a half times bigger than chimp brains. In fact, over the entire course of human evolution, our brains have tripled in size. But experts don't really know why. It's likely that they grew as our environmental, social, and cultural needs grew more complex, though. Something that can also be seen in whales. Sperm whales have the largest brain by mass of any animal, weighing about 20 pounds. It's five pounds bigger than a blue whale's, even though blue whales are by far the larger animal. That's because sperm whale society is far more complex than that of solitary blue whales. Therefore, their brains have grown larger to accommodate the trickier processing power a society-focused animal needs to function. How awesome is that? 
If you're looking to maximize on your already massive brain, then hit those like and subscribe buttons. I've got thousands of awesome fact videos for you to increase your intelligence tenfold. Now back to the good stuff. Cretaceous Carpets Your brain is amazing, sure, but it's not your biggest organ. Without that, you'd be nothing but a messy puddle on the floor. Any guesses what it is? Yep, it's your skin. Skin keeps the inside in and the outside out. And to do that, it needs to not only stretch over our entire bodies, but also be thick enough to provide adequate protection. Our skin can cover about 22 square feet, but whale sharks have truly amazing skin. As well as covering them head to fin, it's a whopping four inches thick, which is roughly the width of an adult's hand. This provides insulation from cold waters and also protects from hungry predators who might mistakenly view the slow-moving shark as an easy snack. Plus, the outer layer is covered in super tough scales which overlap like a suit of armor, making it insanely hard to penetrate. But what about some other tough creatures? I mean, have you ever laid awake at night wondering how much skin a T-Rex would have? Er, probably not. But don't you worry anyway, I've done some tricky little calculations using all the data available to us. The extinct super predators were up to 40 feet long and 12 feet tall. And using that as my basis, I reckon they could have had a monumental 603 square feet of skin. This isn't highly accurate, but it's an idea. What about one of the biggest dinos ever then? The Barosaurus. How much skin was on this 157 foot long monster? Well, I've crunched some even bigger numbers, and my estimate puts it at around 3,600 square feet. Jeepers. Again, this is a very rough figure, but that means just one Barosaurus could have provided enough skin to carpet the entire ground floor of a large house in dino leather. And who doesn't think that sounds like the coolest thing ever? Now where can I find a time machine? Shark liver oil. Ever wished you had the power to regenerate? Well, it might surprise you that you do. Your liver has an amazing ability to regrow, even if up to 90% of it has been removed, which is a whole lot of liver. Our livers weigh about four pounds and are the largest internal organs inside our bodies. Even so, basking sharks put us to shame. At a backbreaking 2,500 pounds, their livers are a whole 25% of their body weight. Sheesh. While scientists are still figuring out whether sharks can regenerate too, we do know their giant livers are very useful to them. That's because they have high levels of squalene in them, a low density compound oil that helps sharks maintain neutral buoyancy, meaning they stay level as they swim. Without it, we'd have a world of zigzagging sharks, and Jaws would be a very different film seeing as great whites also have giant livers. You see, just like bears put on fat for hibernation, many ocean animals also put on fat or blubber to burn on long migrations, and great whites store this fuel in their liver. They can pack in over 1,650 pounds of fat for snacking on during the journey. Just like the basking shark, this fat makes them more buoyant, and it also allows them to free dive on long journeys, meaning they can drift forwards and down without expelling energy, like an underwater hang glider. The less fat they've got in the reserves, the less buoyant they are, and the faster their descent. That's unbelievable. Although a hang gliding shark might just be the scariest thing I've ever heard of. Organ Origins so far, I've only spoken about organs we share with animals, but what about some unique organs we don't have at all? Well, blue coral snakes from Southeast Asia have the largest venom glands of any animal. The venomous vessels extend a whopping 25% down the whole length of the snake, meaning they can hold an absolute ton of the stuff. If you're thinking a bite from one of these might turn you into the next superhero though, guess again. The venom contains calliotoxin, which causes almost instant paralysis. So it's less Spider-Man and more Snake Dinner Man. Luckily, blue coral snakes are mostly just interested in munching down on other venomous snakes. Hardcore. I wouldn't mind some of those glands, though. Finally, a way to strike down my competitor channels. <laughs> anyway, if poisoning your enemies isn't your thing, maybe the hackfish's slippery defense is more up your street. Their bodies have no less than 100 glands on them that produce crazy amounts of slime. 
If the fish feel harassed, they secrete stringy proteins from these glands, which expand into a transparent sticky goop on contact with water. By creating this oozy mess, hagfish ward off predators and protect their meals from other hungry fish. Yeah, if someone slimed like that over my food, I'd go and eat elsewhere too. Prehistoric Pecker Who hasn't dreamed of having a massive pecker? You could have so much fun with it, poking your friends or battling your enemies. But no pecker comes close to the Quetzalcoatluses. And by that I mean its beak. Huh? What did you think I was talking about? This flying prehistoric predator lived between 66 to 100 million years ago, and it was absolutely giant. With a wingspan of between 33 and 36 feet and a beak over 8 feet long, this monster was about the same size as a small aircraft. But paleontologists can't quite agree how it actually used its big beak. Originally, it was thought Quetzalcoatlus would fly close to the water and scoop its dinner out like some fishy cereal. But on further investigation, a huge animal dragging its beak across the water would meet a ginormous amount of resistance and need impossible levels of energy to do so. Therefore, it's much more likely to have used its beak to prey on smaller creatures whilst it roamed around on land. Man, imagine being run down by a giant flying giraffe with the biggest beak you've ever seen. Well then, that's me not sleeping tonight. Big Boned When someone says body organ, the last thing you think of is your skeleton. But our bones truly are organs, allowing movement, protecting vital organs, and producing bone marrow. And recently, archaeologists have found some seriously impressive ones. Back in 2019, a 1,100-pound femur, or thigh bone, was discovered in France, measuring 6.5 feet long. That's taller than most humans. The owner was a 140-million-year-old sauropod, some of the biggest dinosaurs to roam the planet, so the full beast could have weighed up to 50 tons. Sheesh, I guess you could say it was big-boned. Elsewhere, Patagonian paleontologists unearthed another femur bone in Argentina. This time, it measured in at a shocking 7.9 feet long. The 90-million-year-old monster behind this enormous discovery was the aptly named Argentinosaurus. Based off this single find, estimates say the dinosaur would have been 130 feet long and weighed the same as 14 elephants. But one Argentinosaurus bone at the Museo de la Plata eclipses them all. It's incomplete, but estimates say if the whole bone was there, it would be a gargantuan 8.4 feet long. Jeepers. Does that mean something even bigger took a bite out of it? I don't even want to think about that. Beat it. If someone tells you you have a big heart, it might mean you're kind and generous. Or maybe you're just a blue whale. Even though blue whales' hearts are a lot smaller than previously thought, I mean, people used to say you could swim down the arteries, they're still over 5 feet long and weigh an impressive 400 pounds. That's over 600 times the weight of a human heart. Because whales can't breathe underwater when they're diving for long periods of time, they need to conserve as much of the oxygen in their blood as possible. To achieve this, their heart's aortic arch, that's the top part of the artery, needs to expand enough to hold a stupendous 32 gallons of blood with every heartbeat. Once filled, it slowly releases it around the circulatory system, ensuring all the whale's vital organs are constantly being supplied with oxygenated blood. Which means blue whales can slow their heartbeats down to just two beats a minute, the slowest of any mammal. Man, I can hardly believe it. Got the guts? Fancy a gruesome fact? If you pulled out your intestines and laid them out flat, they'd be 25 feet long. And sadly, that's about four and a half times longer than you. But if we're talking comparative to body size, a cow's intestines are a whole 20 times longer than they are. At a staggering 131 feet, they're about half as long as an airplane. That's because as large mammals, cows have to eat a lot of food, around 26 pounds every day. And most of that is grass, which isn't easy to get nutrients from. So by being crazy long, cow's intestines provide more surface area for the grass to pass through and give up its nutrients. You can see this when you compare a cow's intestines to a blue whale's. Even though blue whales have an extraordinary 720 feet of intestines, which is about two football fields worth, that only equates to being eight times their body length. 
Krill, despite being tiny, pack a lot of protein for the whales, so it's absorbed faster without the need for long intestines. Yikes, whoever measured all these intestines must have had quite the cleanup job. Super Sucker If I woke up one day with a seven foot long elephant's trunk growing on my face, my first reaction would probably be horror. But maybe that would be the wrong reaction because their trunks are so much more than stupendous sniffers. Each one contains an astonishing 40,000 muscles, whereas the whole human body only has about 600. Elephants can touch, taste, move objects, hold up to two and a half gallons of water, and even smell water that's over 12 miles away with their incredible appendages. Jeez, you know what? Sign me up. Perhaps the most noteworthy nose, though, belongs to an insect much smaller than an elephant. I'm talking about Morgan Sphinx Moth, a uniquely weird moth that has a retractable sucking organ known as a proboscis, which is, unbelievably, three times longer than its body. At almost 12 inches, it's so big that the moth has to roll it up like a toilet roll, or it can't fly. The whole point of this super long proboscis is so the moth can probe it into one particular flower called Darwin's Orchid, which has a 12 inch deep nectar chamber. In other words, the perfect depth for Morgan's Sphinx Moth. By probing its proboscis inside the flower to drink its nectar, the moth rubs against pollen on its walls, pollinating it and allowing it to reproduce. But incredibly, no other insect is capable of doing so. So the two life forms rely on one another to survive. Kind of like me and the ice cream man. The Golden Number You know when you try and pee before a long drive but don't need one? Then suddenly 10 minutes into the journey, all you want to do is pee? It's times like these I really wish I had a bladder the size of a fin whale's. Their bladders are so gigantic that they can produce 260 gallons of urine a day. That's enough to fill a 10 by 6 foot swimming pool. Yoosh! Whilst I wouldn't want to swim through it, it's a good job whales produce so much pee pee. It's actually great for our oceans. When they tinkle near the water surface, the nutrient rich urine mixes with the strong sunlight and creates perfect conditions for the growth of tiny organisms like phytoplankton. These microscopic morsels become food for a whole host of sea animals, including krill, which the whale then eats. Hmm, I'm all for eco-living, but this sounds too much like peeing in your own cereal to me. Over on land, elephants are king of the bladder brigade, with their pee sacs measuring about two feet long. Though nothing on whales, the trunk tinklers can still carry around a whopping five gallons of liquid. But regardless of what your ex said, size really doesn't matter. Get this, every mammal that weighs more than an average bat takes roughly 20 seconds to empty the tank from full. Nah, I guess that's the golden number. But why the heck is this a thing? Well, all mammals have the same ratio of bladder size to ureter width, which is the tube we pee out of. The bigger the bladder, the wider the ureter, and the width of the ureter determines how fast we can pee. So we all pee at the same rate. However, animals smaller than about 6.6 .6 pounds can't physically create enough force to produce a stream and instead pee little globules over a longer time. Cool, I guess? So next time someone takes ages in the cubicle and claims it was only a whittle, tell them they shouldn't have been any longer than 20 seconds. Pearly Frights Unless you want to spend the rest of your life slurping pea soup, brush your teeth. Not all animals need to be so cautious, though. You might have heard of narwhals, these ridiculous looking sea unicorns. But did you know that 10 foot horn is actually the biggest tooth of any living animal? And it's not even used for chewing. Instead, it's filled with 10 million nerve endings. These make the huge tooth super sensitive, meaning narwhals can accurately sense tiny changes in the water around them and use that knowledge to hunt prey. While it's the largest tooth of any living animal though, the largest tusk of any creature alive or dead belong to a rather different beast, the Mastodon. These extinct bad boys were essentially giant furry elephants that roamed the earth until about 11,000 years ago. In 2007, a three million year old Mastodon fossil was found in Greece and its gnashers were over 16 feet long. Though gnashers is the wrong word. This big toothy appendage was used for foraging and fighting, not munching. You really wouldn't want to mess with the beast that had the longest actual biting teeth. Luckily, it's also extinct. I'm talking about the apex marine predator known as Livyatin. 
Dating back almost 10 million years, this mighty masticator's fangs were over 14 inches long, allowing Livyaten to slice their way through 30 feet baleen whales, sharks, and just about anything else they could see. <sighs> yep, those pearly whites were more like pearly frights. Here's looking at you, squid. A lot of people fear what could be lurking about in the ocean depths, and I'm not surprised. There's some keen-eyed predators down in the deep blue. The keenest eye of them all, though, is the colossal squid. This behemoth seafarer can reach intimidating lengths of 45 feet, and it has the largest eyes of any animal ever. Back in 2007, a dead specimen was found with eyes reaching 11 inches in diameter, but scientists reckon they can reach the truly massive size of 15 inches. This means they're capable of picking up light from almost 400 feet away. Though scientists are still unsure exactly why their eyes are so big, it could be to both avoid predatory sperm whales and detect faraway prey. Other cephalopods share the trait too. Vampire squids, though only six inches long, have eyes one-sixth the size of their whole body. So they have the largest proportional eyes of any animal. That's because they live over a mile beneath the surface in the inky blackness so they need all the light sensitivity they can get. I don't know, if I lived that deep, I wouldn't want to be able to see any of the freaky creatures that dwell down there at all. Claws for alarm. I don't know about you, but I always get an itch in the center of my back that's never quite in reach. If I had massive three foot long claws though, I'd be fine. Just like the Therizinosaurus. This towering dinosaur's scary scratchers are some of the largest claws ever known. Whilst they sound pretty badass though, who doesn't want to go full Wolverine mode, bub? They were actually only used for pulling vegetation down from trees. <laughs> well, I'm more at ease knowing that if this 16 foot tall nightmare started running towards me, I'd just have to rustle up a quick salad to throw it off. When it comes to, you know, alive animals though, Giant armadillos have the largest claw-to-body ratio with their super swipers coming in at 8 inches, almost a quarter of the length of their body. They use their long digits to dig burrows and break into termite or ant nests and scrape out their supper. Are you seriously telling me that nature's nails are just used for dirty bugs and veggies? Someone tell Marvel they've got it all wrong. Giant Johnsons Alright, here it is. The moment you've been waiting for. <sighs> Aren't you a teensy bit curious to know what animal is packing the most? You know, down there. Well, guess what? It's me. <coughs> okay, fine. Maybe not. Unsurprisingly, the undisputed king of the things is the blue whale. At over 10 feet long and 12 inches wide, I'd say Mr. Whale has a lot to be proud of. So too, it would seem, do orcas, which have been spotted doing this. <clears throat> Peculiar displays above the water to attract a partner. Gosh darn it, a boy can dream. But the creature with the biggest appendage relative to its body might be a bit surprising. Barnacles. Yeah, those shelled arthropods you see all over rocky beaches. Despite being non-mobile, a barnacle still has to mate. To facilitate this somewhat docile exchange, they need to be able to reach out and find a mate without actually moving. They do this with their er, male organ, which can grow a ridiculous eight times longer than their body. That's like a six foot man dragging something as tall as the Hollywood sign along behind him. Sheesh. It's so big that when they pop it out to look for potential mates, they lose grip of the rock they're on and risk being swept away by the motion of the ocean. Scary. One well-endowed insect, however, lives without fear. Hailing from southern Europe, the tuberous bush cricket's cojones to body mass ratio is the largest in the entire animal kingdom at a monstrous 14%. That's like a 190 pound man hauling three gallons of milk around between his legs. Cricket society is rather promiscuous, so always having something in the chamber helps the survival of their species. Phew, that sounds exhausting. I need a nap just thinking about it. Speaking of rest, I think it's time for me to give my big brain a break. Drop a comment letting me know which of these massive organs was your favorite. And thanks for watching.